past. Smash your past. All right, ladies and gentlemen, WrestleMania Backlash Prediction. Wrestling Doll joined by Zach Consultant and Scorsese, Stephen Willie Beeman, unable to make it here tonight. But we are going to talk about these six matches. And I put Smash or Pass simply because of the fact that we're going to talk about whether or not we like this match happening in Backlash or not before we give our predictions. And we're going to start off with this match right here, Happy Corbin. Versus Mad Cat Moss. Did we even talk about this segment when we talked about SmackDown? I don't Not know. really. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, the segment was pretty poor for me, so I have no no problem um, talk, not talking about it. But Wrestling Doll, go ahead and give your opinion when it comes to this match. Mad Cat Moss, Happy Corbin coming up this Sunday. Smash or pass? Pass. I'm getting bored of the storyline, to be honest. I just want them to go their separate ways and just move on. And Corbin focus on beating up whoever the hell he can find next and Moss building himself up to try to be one of the more popular baby faces in SmackDown. Um, I have to disagree. I'm sorry. I have to agree with you, even though Happy Corbin is one of my favorite wrestlers. This thing feels a little flat, but I understand why they did it. It makes sense to have them do it like this. They need to have that blow off match in order for them to go to separate. I don't think this match should happen at WrestleMania Backlash. I would have put this match on SmackDown and moved the women's tag team titles to WrestleMania Backlash. Uh, is what I would have done. But you got a pass from uh, both of us, the wrestling doll as well as that consultant. What about this one? Rematch from WrestleMania, the nightmare Cody Rose versus the drip god, the visionary, the revolutionary Seth freaking Rollins. Smash or pass, wrestling doll, what you got? Smash. They put on a banger at WrestleMania. I want to see another banger at WrestleMania backlash. Um, I agree with you again. They put on arguably the best match of the weekend, arguably, at WrestleMania, these two one know of the how highlights to... of night one. Night one, it was. Yeah, that uh, was the highlight of night one for me. One of them because it, I felt like night two was better. Things. It was a lot of things I, I really did enjoy uh, being at that WrestleMania. This is one of the reasons why it was this match uh, right here, the WrestleMania match. I think they're going to put it on just as good, if not better, at Backlash. These two know how to put on the match. They show it to you in the ring, and it's going to be good. Um, I, I think. Who did you say was going to win? Actually, we didn't say who was going to win this match. I feel like maybe they'll have Moss win just to solidify the fact that he's not a joke to Corbin. I know you're going to say right. Corbin's going to win. No, Mad Cat Moss has to win. In order for him to – Happy Corbin will be fine. But Mad Cat Moss, in order for him to continue this momentum as they strong Bay face, he needs to pick up the victory. As far as this match is concerned, um, Smart Money will actually say um, – I feel Smart like Money was might put Rollins to win to kind of even out and to keep correct. it going. Correct, but I don't want think they want to stop the momentum of the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And I like I said earlier on the SmackDown show, I believe that Seth Rollins is um, turning babyface very, very soon because his music has got made him too over, um, and they kind of could use another babyface. So I'm going to go ahead and say that Seth Rollins is going to take the L to Cody Rhodes. What are the chances they have him lose by countout? Uh, not very likely. Not for this match. It's a possibility, but I I would be very surprised. And you never know. WWE is quite full of surprises. That is true. Next match we're going to talk about is Bobby Lashley versus Omos with MVP in his corner. Uh, actually, hold up real quick. I'm getting word from the back. Steaming, are you back? All right. This man disappeared. He can never sit still for a whole episode. I got uh, ADA, I got ADHD. Sorry. That's very apparent. You can um, go ahead real quick and, and comment. Uh, on this Mad Cat Moss and Happy Corbin, uh, I'm going with Mad Cat uh, Moss. Um, the p- push he's getting, um, you know, I think uh, they're they gonna have him come out on top in this match. Next match you're going to talk about is Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins. Um, I actually think they uh gonna get this one to Cody again, not to stop you know the momentum of him coming back and you know him being the whole. Son of the, you know, of the chosen family and all that. So I think uh, Cody gonna come out on top. Um, I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, I don't think, uh, you know, I think this is probably gonna be like the last lower Seth take because I think we might get like a, um, a possible baby face turn um, coming up soon from, uh, for Seth. So yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, Cody in this one. All right, the match that we're currently on in wrestling, doll, you can take it away. Here is Bobby Lashley versus Omos. Pass. Yes, I'm over this storyline. I like Lashley more and more as I see him. 
but the storyline is getting ridiculous. And the fact that they gave Omos MVP, they gave him MVP so he could have somebody talk for him, but Lashley's not that great on the mic by himself either. He's okay, but he's not great enough to talk by himself. I'm just over this match. I feel like Bobby should win so that way those two can shut up and stop bothering him once and for all and move on to somebody else. I'm just getting bored. Really bored. Y'all thought I would be I'm bored with Mac and Moss and Corbin. I'm even more bored of this storyline going on. Steven Willie. I think it's running its course now. Like you're giving this uh the, these two too much. Um, like I said, uh yeah, like you said, uh wrestling wrestling though, like it's running its course and it's one one match too many that I care about. Um, I'm going to have to disagree with both of you all. I, I, I still do care about this feud because of the MVP factor, and it's only been going on for about a month. Uh, remember, they started feuding literally a week before WrestleMania. Um, as far as who's going to win this match, I'm going to have to say my money is going to go with Omos. Uh, Bobby Lashley won cleanly the last WrestleMania pay-per-view, and in this pay-per-view, or PLE, I apologize, this premium live event, is going to have to go to Omos so they can continue the feud. The same formula you were talking about possibly with Cody and Seth, I think they're going to apply here. So uh, I, I, my money is definitely going to be on Omos. Let me catch up with some of these comments real quick. Uh, Todd says, Tuesday Night Review is the best. That's fine. I'm sure Captain Shakespeare and Bad Guy Jack appreciate that. Happy Corbin versus Mad Cop Mouse. I will say pass. Seth Rollins versus Cody Rhodes. I say smash. Mad Cop Mouse wins, and I'm going with Cody Rhodes as well. Cody needs to get a better ring shape. He looks like he's getting winded. Either that or he needs to unlearn the AEW way of wrestling and remove those botches. Ouch. Bobby Lashley versus Omos. I'm going to say smash because I'm going with Lashley with win. And Lashley and Omos gets released. Wow. Todd is on a different level today. Edge versus AJ Styles. Wrestling doll. Smash or pass? Uh, they put on a banger. It was really good. I felt like Damien surprised everybody at the end. So it was kind of a little unexpected. I want... It's going to be, it's a smash for me because, like, we'll get what could have happened if Damien hadn't come out. And I kind of want AJ to take it so that way it can even out and keep it going. So, who do you think is going to win? I said AJ. AJ, Steam and Willie. Um, this match is going to be a smash. I think, I think we might, I think AJ might win. But if we get like a third member to Judgment Day, whether it be a female over uh, a female um, competitor or another male competitor, I think that's what might uh, get Edge to be over AJ in this one if we get the surprise. Like, maybe that's the way they bring Alexa Bliss back or something. Who knows? Possibility. With Edge and AJ, I'm going to go with Edge myself. I think it's, the, it makes sense to have AJ win, but they don't need to have AJ win for this feud to continue because I do believe another member of Judgment Day will be revealed to outnumber Finn Balor and AJ Styles. And unfortunately, it might just be Finn Balor himself that joins Judgment Day. So stay tuned. I think we're going to see a nice, interesting twist coming up this Sunday at the prime, uh, premium live event. Next match we're going to talk about is a six-man tag team matches. RK McBro versus the Bloodline Wrestling Dog. As always, we'll start with you. Smash or pass when it comes to this match? I'm kind of in the middle. I was honestly looking forward to it when it was just going to be the tag teams for the sake of the tag belts and unifying them, which a lot of people were saying, oh, it was never going to happen. But then adding Drew and Roman, it kind of felt like, why didn't we just make it a separate match? But you know how creative it is. I'm just kind of over that aspect of it. As for who I think will win, I love every member of RK McBro, but I feel like they just going to have the blood and I keep winning. They want to keep them being dominant, and they don't want to give them an L to keep them going, to keep having their undisputed champion and their current longest SmackDown champions right now. Understood. Steam I think uh, RK McBro might win because this is a way that you can have the bloodline lose as um, far as, like, if uh, Drew hits one of the Usos with um, – a Claymore and all that, and they win. It doesn't make, yeah, like so, it doesn't make Roman look weak, at, like in a, like he lost, and because you know we've been seeing the Usos lose for weeks. Um, so um, that I think actually that uh, you know just because the Usos have and, and Roman has been winning so much, I think this is a way that they can have them kind of lose and 
don't lose nothing like don't lose no titles don't lose no you know no no cash shakes should we say because it's still an inner brand match as far as uh you know with rk bro man a part of it so yeah that's what i i think i think um rk mcbro might win it because yeah the bloodline can lose and still hold this heat that they have um, I'm going to go ahead and say when it comes to this match, I'm going to go with the bloodline. And that's simply because of the fact that RK Bro have been pretty much dominating the bloodline each and every single week. It doesn't make sense for them to lose also at Backlash unless they just want to utilize it to have uh, the blow off matches at Hell in a Cell being a unification match possibly for the tag team titles as well as Drew McIntyre with Sermon Reigns in a Hell in a Cell match. Hell in a Cell. That's a possibility. I'm going with RK Bro is officially, but if that match opens up the card on tomorrow on Sunday, then expect um, RK Bro to pick up the victory. Uh, what Willie believes will be the main event of WrestleMania Backlash is for the SmackDown Women's Championship and I Quit match: Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey. Wrestling doll, who do you have in this one? I'm gonna say it's a pass because I'm getting bored of it, and the match was okay when they did a WrestleMania, but it was not like the greatest. I feel like the Raw Women's Championship match was a million times better. And as for this one, I feel like they're just going to keep it with Charlotte. Because even if you have Ronda as the champion, Charlotte has better mic skills. She has more charisma. She doesn't need anybody to talk for her because she can do all the talking for herself. Her skills show it as well. And like she's been saying, she wants lengthy reigns. And so they're probably going to keep it going with her. I don't think Ronda came back to be away from her baby, not to be champion. And uh, you didn't, she didn't win it at WrestleMania because that's what all the fans, you know, we all ex- thought that was going to happen. I mean, um, they said they're going to bring her back for a year, so they can have her do more. So that's why I think, I think she's, uh, I think they're going to finally put the belt back on her. Um, so I'm going with Ronda in this one. Uh, I'm gonna go with Rondo on this one as well. Something because, like I said, she's a mother now. She's a proud mother. That's what she left for. That's what she was trying to do for so long. And Sunday's Mother's Day, and it just it just makes sense to me to have her win on Mother's Day for that feel good moment. And I, and I think that's actually one of the reasons why she lost at WrestleMania is to have this time to shine. However, never bet against Charlotte Flair because Charlotte Flair wins more matches than anybody I've ever seen that she should not win. Listen to what I'm yeah. saying. More matches that she should not win, she wins. So it still wouldn't surprise me if Charlotte does pick up the victory, but I, I'm as much as I just said, never bet against Charlotte Flair, I'm betting against Charlotte Flair. I see Ronda Rousey walking away the new SmackDown Women's Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for us here for the SmackDown edition, as well as this special WrestleMania Backlash prediction show. Um, I did a plug earlier, so I'm going to run it real quick again. Make sure on the unpopular review entertainment side, you watch our Doctor Strange uh, episode, which is coming up on Sunday or Monday. Stay tuned to us on unpopular Ooh, reviews um, on Instagram and Twitter. And on Tuesday, Mission Impossible 3, as we continue our Mission Impossible franchise uh, way. And then on Thursday, Fatherhood, as we talk about Strong Black Fathers Month. I'm sorry. Yeah, Strong Black Fathers Month on unpopular review wrestling. Join us as we talk Perfect Plex Radio, NXT, AW, WWE, um, every single Monday, Mike Knox, uh, DJ Dice. And then on Monday, immediately after Raw, myself as well as Big Daddy Cool. Tuesday, you have Captain Shakespeare and Bad Guy Jack. And on Wednesday, the Merry Couple of Unpopular Review, Divine Intervention, Ollie Joker, and then the Wrestling Doll, joined by whatever guest she sees fit each and every Friday, talking about SmackDown. Also join us this Thursday for addition of Family Feud, as uh, Bad Guy Jack's team faces the family of our very own Mike Knox. Looking forward to that one. And then, of course, tomorrow on Instagram, we have Winnie the Pooh versus Snuggles. Snuggles, of course, being represented by Cedar Spear. Winnie the Pooh represented by Bad Guy Jack. A lot of content for you here at Unpopular Review. But thank you so much for watching. For Steven Willie Beeman, for the Wrestling Doll, I am the Executive Consultant, and we will see you right here next time for Unpopular Review. Good night, everybody.